Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to find the determinant of a matrix using the diagonal product method. Let's say we have an example of this type. Matrix A has the following elements. Negative 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6, and then 2, negative 3, 1. Let's say we have a matrix of this type and we want to find the determinant of this matrix. Okay, So to do that we're going to follow this diagonal product method and in here we said we're going to let me write this here. We're going to find the determinant of A and in here we're going to write the elements down. The first column, second column, third column negative 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6 and then 2 negative 3, 1 and then now we're going to repeat the first column and second column elements as fourth and fifth uh, column elements negative 3, 2, 4, 5 and then 2, negative 3 3, negative 3, 4, 2 is, is the first column elements we are repeating that and then making it as a fourth column 2, 5 and negative 3 are the elements of the second column and then we're going to repeat that as the fifth uh, column elements. So now we're going to we're going to do this. We're going to connect them, connect the diagonals by a line and then we're going to multiply them after we finish this process. We're going to connect these um, elements along these diagonals and we're going to multiply them out and when we if when we do this, we're going to add these, uh, uh, add these. Once we finish the um, multiplication of the product, and then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up this diagonal. We're going to go up this diagonal. We want to go up this diagonal here, and then this time we're going to subtract. When we go down the diagonal, we add. When we go up the diagonal, we subtract. And that is what we are uh, uh, stating here and now let us perform this operation in here to find the determinant the determinant of matrix A is going to be negative 3 times 5 times 1 plus 2 times 6 times 2 plus 1 times 4 times negative 3. We've exhausted the diagonals coming down and then the next we're going to go after the diagonals going up. So negative of 2 times 5 times 1 minus of minus 3 times 6 times negative 3 and then the last one we have is minus 1 times minus 1 times 4 times 2 now it is just a matter of simplifying the math here so when we do this this is what we're going to come up with negative 3 times 5 times 1 is negative 15 then 2 times 6 is 12 12, 12 times 2 is 24 plus 24 and then 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 and then um, minus 2 times 5 is 10 and then negative times negative is a positive 3 positive 3 times 3 is uh, 9, negative 9, negative 9 times 6 is negative 54 and then 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8 with a negative sign. And when we simplify all of this, the determinant of A is going to be equal to uh, is going to be equal to negative 75. Negative 75. And we have seen, we have solved this problem, solved this similar type of an example in, in my previous video presentation, and then the answer was exactly the same. In this 
In example, we have used the diagonal product method to find the determinant. In the earlier example, we have seen how to use how to find the determinant using the expansion of cofactors. Okay, so these are these are different ways of solving determinants. In my next presentation, we shall look at some more examples related to determinants.